MRI findings of breast cancer recurrence after mastectomy. Nothing to disclose. The role for surveillance imaging of women after bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction is controversial. Both the National Comprehensive Cancer Network and the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence in the UK recommend against routine imaging of reconstructed breasts in women with a history of breast cancer. Despite these recommendations, MRI is frequently used for surveillance. Local regional recurrence after mastectomy for breast cancer varies from 2.3 to up to 30%. The risk of developing breast cancer in women undergoing risk-reducing mastectomy ranges from 0 to an annual incidence of 0.8%. After skin sparing mastectomy, residual breast tissue can be found in 60% of women, which correlates with the thickness of skin flaps. The benefits of breast MRI include the potential for early detection of local tumor recurrence in the reconstructed breast if the features of recurrent tumor are seen prior to clinical presentation. Breast MRI can yield critical information regarding the extent of disease, which can guide clinical management. And in patients with symptoms of recurrence, mammography, ultrasound, and MRI are effective adjuncts to the clinical diagnosis. Therefore, the aim of this study is to evaluate the incidence of breast cancer recurrence diagnosed by breast MRI in patients with a previous history of mastectomy. This is an IRB-approved HIPAA-compliant retrospective review of 1,321 women with a history of mastectomy who underwent breast MRI between 2013 and 2019. The clinical history, including the side of mastectomy, the type of reconstructed, Imaging features of the suspicious findings, including virus classification, biopsy pathology, and imaging recommendations were reviewed. Statistical analyses were performed using a chi-squared test. 8.3% so of women who had BIRADS 3, 4, or 5 findings on MRI and were included in the study. The clinical indication for breast MRI of these 110 women included surveillance MRI in 43.6% of patients and workup of focal breast symptoms in 56.4% of patients. The masses seen on MRI were more likely to be malignant than non-mass enhancement or foci, achieving statistical significance. Of the 110 women with the BIRADS 3, 4, or 5 findings on MRI, 15 cancers were detected. Of the detected cancers, 53.3% were detected on surveillance MRI and 46.7% were detected um, being symptomatic. All breast cancers were found on the ipsilateral side as the original cancer. 60% were found in patients with retropectoral silicone implants, 20% in patients with retropectoral saline implants, 13.3% in patients with a deep flap reconstruction, and 6.7% with no associated breast reconstruction. Of the surveillance detected breast findings, 37.5% of masses and 33.3% of nodal abnormalities recommended for follow-up or biopsy were malignant. Of the symptomatic detected breast findings, 87.5% of masses and 25% of nodal abnormalities were malignant. The average size of the recurrent tumor was 2.1 centimeters, ranging from 0.4 to 5.1 centimeter. This is a 55-year-old female with a history of left DCIS in 2013, followed by bilateral skin and nipple sparing mastectomy with microvascular free flap reconstruction in March of 2013, and subsequent bilateral autologous fat grafting in September 2016. So in the upper outer quadrant of the reconstructed left breast, there is an irregular enhancing mass with associated T2 hyperintensity. On ultrasound, there is an irregular hypoechoic mass with indistinct margins and echogenic foci that corresponds to the MRI finding. This underwent ultrasound core biopsy yielding DCIS with microinvasion. This is a case of a 68-year-old female status post-right lumpectomy for invasive ductal carcinoma in 2003. 
She underwent subsequent right mastectomy in June 2015 for recurrence, and the patient now reports a palpable area of concern in the right chest wall. So in the medial aspect of the right reconstructed breast, there is an enhancing mass that corresponds to the palpable area of concern denoted by the vitamin E marker. On ultrasound, there is an irregular hypoechoic mass with indistinct margins, which corresponds to the MRI finding. This underwent ultrasound core biopsy yielding invasive ductal carcinoma. This is a 48-year-old BRCA2 mutation carrier, status post bilateral nipple sparing mastectomy with deep flap reconstruction in October 2011 for left breast invasive ductal carcinoma. She also went subsequent hormonal therapy but did not receive radiation or chemotherapy. And the patient presents with a palpable area of concern in the left axilla. So in the left axilla, there is a heterogeneously enhancing necrotic level one lymph node. This underwent palpation guided FNA yielding metastatic adenocarcinoma. Breast cancer recurrence can be detected on breast MRI in routine surveillance and in evaluation of symptomatic patients. Recurrences primarily present as masses in the reconstructed breast, but also as nodal or bone metastases. All cases of breast or nodal recurrence in the setting of prior mastectomy in our study occurred on the side ipsilateral to the primary breast cancer, regardless of the indication for the MRI. Breast MRI depicts asymptomatic cancer recurrence in the reconstructed breast and is useful to evaluate extensive disease. MRI can detect cancer recurrence in the reconstructed breast before it is clinically apparent, especially if the lesions are posterior or if superficial lesions are clinically misinterpreted as fat necrosis. Chest wall recurrence is more likely to be associated with systemic symptoms, metastatic disease, and have a poorer prognosis. And early detection in these cases may improve prognosis. So in conclusion, women with a history of breast cancer are increasingly screened with breast MRI. Careful evaluation of the reconstructed breast is warranted to evaluate for earlier previously undetected recurrence. And detection of asymptomatic recurrence in the setting of mastectomy highlights the value of supplemental MRI surveillance in women with a history of breast cancer. Thank you.